Hello everybody and welcome back to Iowa Plains View in Pharmacy Related 22 where it's now July and it's time to harvest wheat, barley and grass. Uh, all three things need harvesting. I'm just going to run over to our new field. This is our new field that we bought yesterday and uh, it's quite big but it's not as big as our field number three which is over there which is massive. Um, so um, we're going to harvest all these, all this stuff today but first of all there's a couple of new rules I want to instigate uh, which are basically to sell things at the correct time. Now if I've done things correctly you should, you should see a list on screen of the, the correct time to sell things and at the moment the, the things to sell are furniture and planks. In July furniture and planks should be sold for their highest price because I don't want to sell things randomly anymore and get the lowest price for them. And the other thing is we have a debt of 380000 and what I want to do is pay that off $10,000 on the first of each month. So I'll do that right now. Okay, because we, we pay interest each morning, um, but that's only interest. We don't pay off the capital, so I, I need to start paying off the capital. I'm going to do it $10,000 a month from here on in, and more if I can do it. So, first thing we need to do today is to hire a harvester. So, I want to hire, um, I think it's the, the New Holland C... H770, this one here. Uh, so I'm going to hire this. Not too, not too expensive. And we need to find the right header for it, which is going to be this very feed here, which is 8.5 meters. So uh, we will bump it up to about 10 miles an hour. So we're not here all day. <laughs> so let's hire this as well. Now I wanted to hire this. Um, let's go and find it actually. I wanted to hire this harvester because um just a personal thing I, I watched there was an episode of country file the other day on the bbc if you have access to the bbc iplayer there's a really interesting episode of country file it's called harvest and it's all about precision farming and they use this this harvester which is why why i wanted to use it it sounds a bit daft but that's my reason for wanting to use this harvester uh so um one other thing today is i've noticed that the chickens have virtually no food left but the thing is we're harvesting wheat and barley so as soon as we've harvested it we can feed them so uh, I'm not going to run out to the shop <laughs> to, uh, to to buy to, to buy grain like I normally do um, I'm just going to take it off the field now I think what I might do is turn the traffic off Okay, so the first field I want to harvest is at our field that we created all the way back in August of last year. Um, this is something of a, um, you know, a, a new dawn for us because we made this field and all this grass and everything here out of nothing. It was an abandoned farm and we've created everything we see here. So I just want to just out of interest check the precision farming score before and after harvesting on this field. It's field number, there's no field number, but it's 97 and we're falling down with our nitrogen. So what I'm going to do is harvest. We shouldn't take too long and then we'll check again on our, on our precision, precision farming score. This field has taken so much longer than I thought it was going to, uh, mainly because the yield is so good and I keep having to stop and unload and uh, that takes more time obviously. Uh, but that's a nice problem to have. Um, I'm not sure how much 
Bali we've got off this field, but it's probably quite a lot. And uh, seven and a half thousand litres have gone to the chickens. I had they had no no food left, and I had to just fill up their food um, because their eggs are going to be valuable to us in. Uh, let me let me have a look now. November. <laughs> That's on my list. November is the time to sell eggs. So, um, and I deliberately didn't leave a straw swath on this field because uh, it might make complications with our precision farming score at the end. I'm not too sure about that. So. Um, Let's just turn that off a sec, and I just want to have a look at our precision farming score. 99. Okay, we never seem to get 100, but I'll take 99, that's fine. And I think it's the bottom one we, we've... Tillage. What's wrong with our tillage? I'm not sure. Uh, okay, let's go and uh, fill up the trailer. Um, I wonder how... It's like 1% for tillage. I don't know what that's about. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> uh, we just like three percent left in the in the uh, combine harvester. Okay, let's uh, let's put all this in the tank. Okay, well that's the last three hundred fifty-eight liters gone into the into the tank. Now um, I did say recently. Let's just stop the uh, stop the tractor. Uh, I did see recently we just came into some wealth. You can see we have two hundred and thirteen thousand dollars in the bank, and uh, I did say that I wanted to buy this area of land over here um, in the northeast. Um, our car is there. I'll just go over to our car. This area of land here. Let's see if I can fly, so you can see it properly. Just this side, not that side over there. Just this side, because I want to. Uh, the the guy has promised to put the cow barn back for us for twenty thousand. So if we buy the land, that's what's going to happen. And we have land here for productions if we want to have. I don't know, a donut factory or something like that. So what I think I'll do, um, I did have to mention, happen to mention that it's the time for selling planks and furniture at the moment. So I'm going to go down to the carpentry and the sawmill and pick everything up and sell it. So I'll just take our, our leased trailer here and I'll see you down at the sawmill. I still don't know why we lost a point for tillage on that field. Um, we did um, sow grass and barley right next to each other. I don't know if we've crossed over somewhere and we've 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 um, sort of cultivated twice or something in the same area. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, so, how many planks have we got um, now? I'm just going to do this on a bit of a fast forward because it takes a while to to appear. Okay, that's the last one. I just want, I'm just interested to see actually at the moment how much we can sell planks for because it's supposed to be the top price or just around the top price at the moment. Let's have a look. At Wood Sale 2455 and the top price was in June actually. So it has gone down, but we do need some money at the moment because I want to buy that, that area. Uh, so I'll just, I'll see you over at the carpentry. Okay, just one furniture. Uh, what's the price of furniture at the moment? Uh, it is would sell three nine six six, and the top price is three nine four five. So that's a good price actually. So um, we normally come d down here at random times, but this is the best time, almost the best time, to sell this stuff. So hopefully we'll get a good price for it. Yes, okay, so 26,000, about 26,000. So what I would like to do now is go to our car, which is the area that we want to buy. Um, now, it normally says if you stand on somewhere, it normally says who owns it, but it doesn't say it here. So I am going to buy this land now. Uh, let's go to the map and do this and yeah, buy it. Yes, okay. This is our this is our land, and in a few days, the owner or the previous owner now will put the cow barn back up, and we have to pay him twenty thousand for it. So we should be prepared for that. 
So our, our money has gone down drastically, but I wanted to buy this area before we were tempted to spend our money on anything else, like, you know, frivolous things like a grain mill or a bakery or something like that. Um, so um, I just want to check, actually, that a grain mill is on the map. Let me just have a little route around. Uh, we have the water mill, which I think acts as the grain mill. That turns uh, grain into flour, so um, I'm sure that's... The one we have to buy. Let's just go there and see how much it is. Just here. 96,000. Wow. Okay. Um, we don't have 96,000. <laughs> so, um, all right. Well, we'll think about that some of the time. Uh, tell you what, I'll just get the tractor back to the farm because we need to harvest the other, harvest the other field now. I've just realised we didn't see how much barley came off the field. I think we should have a look at that, actually, because um, it seemed like a lot. So, let's have a look. Uh, barley, 105,000 litres. Now, we got 110,000 litres off the big field. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't barley. But off this field here, which is massive, uh, field two. That, we got 110,000 litres of soybeans off that and we got 105,000 off our precision farming field. Um, I'm not sure it's like for like, but that, that gives me hope that we're doing the right thing with precision farming. So, I think we should get back into the tractor and get over to field three or two or whatever it is. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I think I'll start up this end because driving down there takes more time off of our tractor and we have to pay more money for it so uh okay let's start here i can't promise i can do the whole thing in one time lapse but uh i'm gonna just start it anyway I'm feeling a bit concerned about money uh, because uh, the money, well, we've got lots of things to pay for, like lease things, and uh, I'm not allowed to sell anything until I think it's November um, on my list <laughs> that I have. Um, we can set, yeah, October is milk and cake, which we don't have, and November is eggs, which we will have plenty of at the time. So I would like to start the grape um, greenhouse because the grape greenhouse has some major things going for it, two major things going for it, in that the, if I just show you actually on here, um, you can put in virtually limitless um, raw materials in the, in the grape greenhouse. And the other thing going for it is that everything is spawned really fast out of it. Everything, it, it just makes everything so quickly um, that you get your money back really quickly. So what I want to do is I want to put 12,000 litres of each thing in here and then after, after we get, um, I can't think how many grapes it will be out of it, uh, we'll sell them and we'll ramp it up again like we did before because this is a this is a good money making thing it, it's kind of pile and pile it high but sell it cheap or whatever the phrase is uh, but that's that's what we have to do so I'm gonna put this on a fast forward I'm gonna put 12,000 litres of raw materials in here and I'll see you when I've done it
so all done. So all we have to do now is shut the door to keep the warmth in and start producing grapes for this one. So activate and storing. That's exactly what we want. So uh, we'll see how many we get, I think, in the next episode because they don't spawn that quickly. So I think I'll go back to the field and finish off the harvesting. I wish I could just sell all the wheat and barley that we've harvested today because it would be a lot of money and you know I wouldn't have to buy grain mills or bakeries or anything and we just have loads of money in the bank <laughs> but you're not allowed to do it now are you well I'm not I can't allow myself to do it because you know we can make five times the amount uh, with bread or cakes or whatever uh, anything rather than just selling it just like this but it'd just be a big cash injection for us it'd be fantastic um, now, I just want to see how much wheat we've got off this field. I wonder how much it is. I've, I feel like I've gone to the, uh, the silo about, I don't know, about six times or something. 22,000, 22 and a half thousand times six is, what, 120,000? Well, let's just do this bit and we'll find out. And there's some grapes already spawned. So, next time we should have loads of, of grapes. Okay. Let's overload our wheat. It used to be unload, but now it's overload, which I'm not sure what that means still, but there we go. Right, all done. Let's have a look and see how much how much wheat have we got? 122,514. I was nearly right. So, um, well, let's turn things off because otherwise it costs us money. <laughs> so... Thanks very much for watching today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, we've managed to harvest, I didn't think we'd do it, but we managed to harvest these two big fields. And next time, I don't know what's going to happen, but, but we'll see what happens with the grapes. So thanks very much and bye for now.